All right, I'm gonna show you guys a spiralizer. I have a little bit of zucchini in there right now. All I did with zucchini is I cut off the ends and I cut it in half, here's the other half. And if you have a really big zucchini, you might wanna cut it into thirds. So I placed it right in on here and you press it right down. And it's gonna come out right now here. And I already started a little bit. And there are three settings and there is a key. And I'm gonna show you how to use the key too because I think that's kind of what gets a lot of people confused. Um, so this spaghetti, uh, this setting is the spaghetti setting. And all you're going to do is spin like this. And this comes out and this is the spaghetti setting. That pretty good. All right, I'm going to switch it out. Okay, and there's this little key here, but you have to unscrew here. So the key comes out. The other side is fettuccine. And you're gonna stick it right back into there. And you're gonna tighten this little knob again to keep it in place. And you're gonna stick this right back on to where it was. I'm gonna show you the different. You can see it's a little thicker. And I think this is mostly what people use. And then with this, this is what you would put in your pan and saute it with some olive oil. Do a little bit of salt and pepper and it takes just a couple seconds to do. Not seconds, a couple minutes. Rose, come here, baby. Then if you want to completely take the key out all together, and I'll show you this the last, then you can do a ribbon setting. I'll use it with this one. And I like to use the ribbon setting for potatoes. And make sure here, and I almost forgot, you have to take, there's gonna be like a little bit left. Make sure you take that out before you redo it again. I almost just did it. Um, it's sometimes a easy thing to forget. And here now is coming out the ribbon. And this is with the key taken out. So you have spaghetti that's very thin. You have fettuccine that is the basic like zoodles size. And then you have ribbon, which I think is good if you're gonna do some potatoes and stuff like that. So this is a good way to prep. You can put them in baggies and you can freeze them and you can do any sort of vegetable. This is, it's able to do like the hardest vegetable, potatoes, you can, but um, anything that you could cut in half and put in here, it'll do. I mean, you can do a sweet potato, you can do butternut squash, you'll probably have to peel them. Um, anything you can't eat, the skin, you would have to peel before you put in. But um, I mean, it, it lets you do most things. So, there's a little tip. <laughs>